Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Snowball, Warren Buffett and the Business of Life. You must have heard the name Warren Buffett before. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, he is one of the richest and most respected business leaders in the world and an investment guru. In late 2007, under Buffett's leadership, Berkshire Hathaway had a stock price of over $140,000 per share and an impressive market cap of over $200 billion. By December 2017, the company's market cap hit a staggering $480 billion. Buffett is also one of the most generous philanthropists in the world. In June 2006, Buffett announced that in the following years he would donate 85% of Berkshire Hathaway's shares to charitable foundations, which was worth a total of $37 billion at the time. Such a huge donation caused quite a stir. Since the book is titled The Snowball, you may wonder what the snowball refers to. At the very beginning of the book, the author depicts a scene of a nine-year-old Buffett playing in the snow. He's with his younger sister in his yard. He packs the snow into a small ball, slowly rolling it on the ground. Every time he pushes it, the ball picks up more snow. As such, the snowball grows bigger and bigger. From there, Buffet has continued onward, casting his eye on a whole world full of snow. As he puts it, life is like a snowball, all you need is wet snow and a really long hill. And that doesn't just apply to compounding money, it also refers to an understanding of the world and what kind of friends you accumulate. The author of this book Alice Schroeder is a former advisor director at Morgan Stanley, one of the most renowned investment banks in the world. She got to know Buffett while writing an analysis report on Berkshire Hathaway and became the first and only financial analyst that was able to interview Buffet. Buffett appreciated her insight and ability to master a subject, so he authorized her to write his biography. In order to write this book, she spent five years interviewing Buffett for a total of over 2,000 hours. She also interviewed 250 other people, including his friends, families, and co-workers. She was given access to many never-before-published personal letters and files of Buffett's. Unlike previous books that overemphasize Buffett's success and legendary life experience, this book not only tells his legendary stories as a top-notch investor but also depicts his human side. Thus, we are allowed to get to truly know Buffett's most valuable experiences throughout his over 60 years of doing business and investing. If you are interested in Buffett and his life of wealth, The Snowball is a great read. And if you want to know more about his investment philosophy, you can find the bookies on the Warren Buffett way and the little book that builds wealth. Up next, let's explore the snowball through the following three sections. Part 1, How Buffett Has Snowballed in Terms of Investing. Part 2, How Buffett Has Snowballed in Terms of Understanding the World and Accumulating Friends. Part 3, how Buffett has given back to society after achieving great wealth and fame. Let's start with how Buffett has snowballed in terms of making investments. Buffett has had great enthusiasm for numbers since he was very young. His hobbies and interests all revolved around numbers. When he was six, he was obsessed with counting time in seconds, and invented a game to play with his stopwatch. He filled the bathtub with water and lined up his individually named marbles at the back of the tub. He then clicked the stopwatch just as he swept the marbles into the water. As the marbles raced down the porcelain slope, racing after each other toward the stopper, when the first one hit, Buffett hit the stopwatch and declared the winner. He called the game the bathtub steeplechase. He never seemed to get bored of the game and would play it again and again. Besides this game, Buffett also often sat by the roadside and wrote down the license plate numbers of passing cars, calculating the frequency of letters and numbers on them. Also at the age of six, Buffet earned his first few cents from selling packs of chewing gum. From that age onward, he showed an unyielding attitude toward his customers. There were five sticks of gum in one 